Bob just with blackened shrimp, obviously our blue cheese, eggs, mm. tomatoes. Um, we do get all of our greens locally sourced. Uh, high What's up, it's Luis from America's Best Restaurants and we travel the country coast to coast to find the places where you need to eat at on a weekly basis. And today we are in Fort Branch, Indiana at an incredible place called Ars Cafe and Catering. And don't let the name fool you because this restaurant is humongous on the inside. We're gonna talk to Candy, who's the owner. Plus we're gonna see some incredible and delectable items like their pork chop. Oh my God, it's going to make your mind explode. Look, I know you're hungry because you're watching this. Why don't you come with me? Let's go check it out. All right, everybody. So now we are inside ours cafe and catering. And we are here with Candy, who's the owner. So Candy, we really, really appreciate you having us here. This is awesome. And I remember we did a couple of lives earlier and you said, oh, the name Cafe, this restaurant's huge. Okay, so don't let the name fool you. Yep. This restaurant is very, very large, which actually, we're actually sitting in the upstairs. Is this kind of like a private event area? Um, it's both. So this is our loft space. It can hold about 75 people upstairs. Um, we do private parties. We actually do weddings, wedding receptions. Um, and then we also use it for overflow dining. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Very cool. And of course, downstairs is the humongous dining room. So don't let the name fool you. For exactly. Cafe. Now, Austin was kind enough to just wave this dish right in front of my face when he was taking photos of it. What is this? So this is one of our most popular dinner entrees. This is called our bourbon bacon pork chop. So oh it starts out with a um, smoked pork chop. It's about, yeah, it's a 14 ounce. So maybe inch, inch and a half thick. Um, we get them local here to Fort Branch. Um, we grill it. We serve it atop a bed of mashed sweet potatoes. And then we have like a house-made maple bacon bourbon ooey gooey goodness that comes on the top. Um, we sell tons and tons and tons of these. So they're very, very popular. Very good. Um, this is certainly not your typical cafe food. This isn't, no. you know, but the ladies love it. The ladies love it. So this, guys this and ladies alike. Crazy. The flavor on this is unbelievable. I love that bourbon bacon glaze sauce thing. The, the, this is a bacon jam kind it of It is thing. a bacon jam, yes. Unreal. I was not expecting to find this here. Good. Because the thing is, you know, like you said, hey, let's yep. not the, let the name fool you because people have this idea what they think a cafe, no. Absolutely. No. <laughs> Absolutely, and we see it all the time. Um, the ladies come for lunch and then they're like, oh, I gotta come back. I gotta bring my husband back. We gotta come back and try this. So the ladies come for lunch and have this, like salads. Okay. Uh, and then the guys come back for the beer, the whiskey and the pork chops. This is crazy good. Oh my God. I, again, I wasn't expecting this and then it looks beautiful and then the flavor's there. Thank you. Home run. Thank you. Hands it's a, down. And I'm talking you. hands down, blindfolded and hands tied behind your back. Home run. Thank you. It's a Love sweet it. of kind of like definitely savory. It's awesome. A little savory, got a little kick. Not yeah. a lot, but yeah. Thank it's you. It's phenomenal. I love the presentation on it too and everything. That is a incredible dish. Is this your number one song? That's probably a close tie, first and second right here. This is our chicken Florentine. That's probably our number okay. one seller. And then that's probably our number two. Let me move this guy to the front here. Okay, okay. so let's talk about this chicken Florentine because I feel like they stack. This was like a building. Yep. They stack, okay. Yep. Tell me about this. Um, so it's layers of love, definitely. Absolutely. Um, this is actually, you know, more of a savory dish in that mm -hmm. we start with our um, house with potatoes on the bottom. Then it is a pan sauteed fried chicken breast. Um, and then wow. it's topped with a spinach cream sauce. So wow. um, kind of all done in, in one pan, which makes it nice. Um, you know, you get the fire, you get the flame. Uh, we garnish it with tomatoes, fresh Parmesan, and um, our local microgreens. So mm. it's very filling. It's like, it's, 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 it's everything in one dish that you need. It's got the starch, it's got the protein, it's got the vegetables. I mean, certainly you're gonna want a salad and you know dessert as well, but. Okay. 
I have to ask you, because again, I wasn't expecting this crazy level of food here. Where did the menu come from? How did you guys create this menu? Um, we, what we like to call ourselves, is kind of a traveling band of foodies, if you will. Okay, okay, um, all right. I mean, we're all fat and sassy. We all love food. Um, you know, we just love to eat. Like, we love to eat. We love to go out to eat. We love to, to see places. And this certainly isn't just me. Um, although it's my husband and I that own the restaurant. This is a labor of love for all of us. I mean, you know, all of our folks in the kitchen love what they do. They love to create. They love to be unique and different. Um, so we just kind of put flavors together and we play with it and try, you know, maybe we had this somewhere else and we think, oh, you know what? I really like that, but I can do this. Um, so that's fun. We do that. Um, and then we just tweak and work and, and, and play off of each other and, and just try to push the envelope. I mean, so like these items that we're talking about today are, you know, these are standard menu items, which they're always on the menu, but we also do specials. I think we, we touched on this in the live a little bit. We do specials that are specials. And this gives, um, you know, the folks in the kitchen a way to be creative right. and be unique and kind of flex their muscles a little bit and, you know, talk about and, and showcase what they love. And then really, it gives us the opportunity to pull in local produce, local local items. Um, we love, love, love local produce. We love, you know, our local meat sources. Yes. Um, we love to support local farmers. So that really gives us an opportunity to showcase those. I mean, obviously we're in Southern Indiana, so that's a little bit more. We do that more in the summertime than we're able to do in the winter. But um, so that gives them an opportunity. So like, for instance, um, we did, we just did like a steak chimichurri dish, which um, wow. it was our local beef that we got. Um, and then they made the chimichurri from like all of our herbs and everything. We grow those here in our herb garden. Um, so that was kind of fun and different. We do definitely different salads. We always kind of have a different salad special every day. Um, we do lots and lots of tacos. We love tacos. Um, and I don't know why, but they're just so easy and they're fun. The handhelds are kind of really, really fun. You can use anything. We use, you know, house smoked brisket or, or yep. pork or whatever. Um, so we love tacos. We love just anything different. We, we love Brussels sprouts. Do you love Brussels sprouts? I'm not a Brussels sprouts guy. Oh, but... well, had I known that, we'd have brought some out. But we're going to do that before we leave. We'll get that on the next <laughs> okay. live. Right. Because I've had a... Um, I've been wanting to try a Nashville hot Brussels sprout. So I have the guys downstairs doing um, some flash fried Brussels, tossing them in the Nashville hot seasoning. So we'll see if you like that. Okay. So All right, Brussels sprouts are where it's at. Is it that, is that, that's your story you're sticking to? I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. But no, we all love food. We love to read. We love to look at food. We love, I mean, we're, uh, our, all of our Instagram feeds are, are about food. So that's kind of where we okay. come up with everything. Now, let me ask you this, because, you know, when I walked in, I saw the dining room. I saw all the little mismatched different tables and everything. And it, it gives a lot of character yes. to the restaurant, which yes. is really cool, because it's unlike any place that I've ever been. What was your idea of, what kind of an ambiance are you trying to create here? Because it's really cool. Thank you. Um, you know, I always wanted to create a place and a space that felt like home. And when you come to our restaurant, I want you to feel like we're welcoming you into our own home. Um, I always feel like places, you know, they kind of have feelings. Um, they kind of have a vibe. Our vibe is definitely different. We're definitely eclectic. We're definitely unique. And I love that, you know. Our, our servers don't, we don't wear uniforms. Um, we don't wear the same clothes. Our, our plates are all different as, yeah. as you can see here. Our tables are all different. Um, that's what we like. I, I am not a cookie cutter person. I do not like anything cookie cutter. Um, so I wanted our, our restaurant to reflect that. I love, like thrifting is my most favorite thing that's ever awesome. to do. If I could like have a job full-time thrifting, I would love it. Um, so like we thrift our dishes. We, you know, thrift our glassware, everything. And we just kind of, we knew that we, brought new life to this old building because the building itself is over a hundred years old. And so we kind of, you know, do the same with our dishes. You know, we rescue them from the Goodwill and the thrift right. stores and all right. that. So we just want it to feel good. Um, you know, we all love our jobs here. We're very passionate about what we do and we want that to, you know, come across to the customers. That's cool. That's really cool. It's, it's very unique environment. And, you know, I'm excited, you know, when I walked in and, and I just saw the dining room. I, was like, I, I remember I told you, there's gotta be a lot of stories. Here. Yep, there is. Um, in the very beginning, people ask us if it was haunted. 
I don't think it is. I mean, I'm here a lot. <laughs> right. um, I've never seen anything, but I mean, wouldn't that be cool if it was? But right. no, I mean, you know, so it has a lot of old stories, like historically, historic stories. I mean, it used to be a printing company. So the oh, building's okay. over a hundred years old. Okay. Um, there were the printing presses downstairs in the main dining room. Up here was like all the reams of paper and whatnot. Um, but so there's a lot of old stories, but then there's a lot of new stories being told here every day. And that's what I try to focus on. And Really, I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm humbled by that, that people choose to come to see us and visit with us to share their new milestones and to share for us to be a part of their new stories. So that's what means a lot that's to cool. us. And I remember when we pulled up to the parking lot, you got the big chair outside yep. that says Ours Cafe. Uh, and, I, and I was telling Austin, I was like, that's cool. We got to get that in during the intro. So that that was just unique when I pulled up. Yep. Like, oh, okay, that's cool. Yes. And then you also have to look outside because we have murals on the right. side of the building too. Um, so there's a local hometown artist, Drew Cooper. He painted murals on the building love it people take pictures it's kind of a selfie spot so we're very excited about that and hope to do more because i mean you can't go wrong with art so definitely now tell me about the catering side of things because that's sure. still part of your name yeah yeah yeah, absolutely so um obviously covid changed uh, quite a bit with right. catering but people are catering so you know we cater weddings we cater rehearsal dinners we cater corporate events i would say corporate events are kind of our thing just because you know there's a lot around here and um, so we do anything from like fried chicken, dinners, chicken florentine, pork chops, salads, whatever. Um, so we do do a lot of catering. And then also we have our space next door, which is called our courtyard. Um, that's at our brick house location, which is literally right across the street. So it's an outdoor space that we do parties and events. We just had a big birthday party over there. So it's just kind of fun. It's just kind of casual over there. We kind of call it our mullet. Like this is business. That's party, you okay. know, like a mullet business in the front and party in the back. So that's kind of what we we liking it too. We have bands over there. Yep. So that's it's fun. Cool. That's really cool. Really cool. All right. So I want to try this salad. All right. Try the salad. I know you talked it up. What is the name of the salad? So this is our blackened shrimp cob salad. Okay. Um, we sell a lot of these. We sell a lot of salads. Um, this is your traditional cob, just with blackened shrimp, obviously our blue cheese, eggs, tomatoes. Um, we do get all of our greens locally sourced, uh, hydroponic greens come in local. So we're very, we're proud of our partnerships that we have with our local growers. Um, you know, that, that helps support other businesses and we're really, really focused on that. Mm. That's really good. Really good. I love the blackening, the seasoning, it's got a lot of depth of flavor. That's so good. Good. All of our wow. dressings are made in-house, too. Really? Yep. Yeah, I would totally get I'd get all these three. Absolutely. Good. I'm very impressed with the menu. I Honestly, I was not expecting this. And when Austin went conveniently like this in front of my face, like, where am I? I started to question, like, yep. where am I right now? Yep. And that's really what we want people to feel like. Like, my motto is kind of bloom where you're planted. Um, I've always really loved that. That's always really spoken to me. And I don't feel like you have to go elsewhere to be great. Like, I think it's better if you make where, we, where you are great. And we've always kind of followed that mantra. Um, I mean, people ask us all the time. They're like, would you come, you know, to so, such and such town or such and such town to open? And I'm like, nope, like, this is home. This is our community. This is where we want to be. I mean, we're very involved and active in the community. We have three kids um, that all go to school here. And we just want to make Fort Branch great. That's you know, cool. we want to grow and we want to build here and make our community great. So that's really, really cool. It's a great philosophy. Make Thank where you. you live great. That's awesome. Thank you. We that's try. really cool. Now, is there an item in the menu that's kind of like a gem in the rock? Somebody finds it, they're like, boom. Yes. That's my go to. Uh, yeah, yes, okay. yes. Um, so we'll talk about this and I'm going to get you guys some pictures and stuff. Okay. Um, the strawberry pretzel salad kind of has its own cult following. It's crazy. It's, it's literally the jello salad that your grandma made like back in the seventies. Um, sweet pretzel base, cream cheese filling, um, like a strawberry gelatin topping, cool whip, fresh strawberries on the top. It's called a strawberry pretzel salad. People try to call it dessert, whatever, it's a salad. So then that way they can get dessert too. So that's definitely a diamond in the rough. And it's just, it's taken on a life of its own. It's so funny. Um, so that's good. We do, we, we didn't even touch on desserts. I mean, we, we have world famous desserts here. Our Italian cream cake is our most popular. Tons of coconut, tons of pecans. Um, I like our steaks. I mean, okay. I mentioned that a little bit. 
you know, steak is crazy right now. I mean, like, be, as with everything, and prices go up, prices go down. Right. Um, we're very, very proud of the partnership that we have with our with our local beef. Um, we have a six ounce filet that is phenomenal. We have a 14 ounce ribeye, phenomenal. Um, that's not cafe food. You know, no. when you put when you no. put a scoop of blue cheese butter on it, or when you do like grilled shrimp, or you do a crab cake, like that's not cafe food. So you can, you guys can come, it's safe. It's totally safe for guys. Absolutely, I mean, <laughs> look guys, at, at the pork chop. Look, if you love pork chop, you, you'd be hard pressed to find something like this. This is phenomenal. And again, like when I walked through the door, I wasn't expecting this. Because you have that for idea sure. of the whole cafe. Yep, you know? yep. Get the, get, get the word off of your mind, because I promise you, not even close. I mean, we're talking stratosphere right now. Thank this you. Is, this is phenomenal. And just, I love the presentation and the flavor. I mean, this place is unbelievable. I love the inside, love the tables. I just love everything about it. I remember pointing out earlier when we did some lives, the old safe that you have yep. that's just cool. Yep. You know, you don't see that anymore. You know what, you don't. Um, I, I feel like a lot of places have kind of lost their uniqueness. Um, and that's okay. I mean, everybody's different. Right. You know, we've had people come and leave us a bad review because our tables don't match. I'm like, you yeah, know, that's that okay. Cause like, sense. that's who we are. Right. Um, so we just want to be unique. We want to be different. We want people to want to come here. Yeah. Um, and I didn't even mention brunch. I mean, we haven't even Let's like hit brunch. on the brunch. Um, like brunch is my favorite thing besides okay. thrifting. Like, like okay. you can't go wrong with brunch. Okay. Um, like brunch is an event and we make it an event here where obviously we have the traditional bottles and those bloody Mary's mimosas, right, right. we have specialty cocktails. Um, we do binnies, we do French toast. I mean, the guys, James makes uh, a special French toast once a week. It's, you know, whether it's candy crunch or whether it's Oreo or I don't know, strawberry cheesecake or cookies mm -hmm. and cr whatever, all that crazy, super sweet stuff. Um, and then we do omelets. I mean, we have tons of things. We have a breakfast burrito that's delicious. So um, Sundays, you know, that's fun. That's kind of a day like where you can just come out and you can hang out, have some drinks, have some really good food, just chill out and get ready for your week. That's brunch is my absolute favorite. It really, really is. After thrifting. After thrifting, right. yes, yes. But we can sit outside. We have outdoor dining um, and there's nothing better than on a Sunday, on a sunny day, just come have some coffee, have a mimosa and have brunch. So that's I'm really awesome. happy about so you that. Have you have phenomenal food, you have drinks, you have beers, you have brunch, you have catering. What yep. else is that left over? Uh, you know, the one thing that I want to that I want to say and yeah. is we have an awesome staff. Um, our, our, our staff is like family. Um, I would even say we have a badass staff. I don't know if you can say that on TV, Let's but whatever. Um, but we really, really do. Um, it's not us that make the restaurant what it is. It's, you know, Danny and I never, intended to be millionaire restaurant tours. We don't, we're not, uh, we're never gonna be, whatever. Um, but it's our staff that, that makes us who we are. I mean, it's our staff that people remember. It's our staff that make us great and that do this day in and day out. And I mean, they truly, truly are like family and we could not do it without them. So that's where the unique and different comes. They, they make us who we are. So we're very, very proud of that. I love it. I think that that's just a great message. I, I just love your energy and how you're so into this. And you, you're the face of this. This is, this place is absolutely unbelievable. Look, everybody, if you're looking for more restaurants like ours, cafe and catering, if you like restaurant content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. So, you know, whenever we drop a new episode and I need to tell you right now, 1000% this restaurant certified legit. I don't care what direction you're driving. You need to come here because this is not only an experience, but the food is just out of this world. I absolutely love it. Candy, how can people find out more information about your restaurant? Um, we're all over social, obviously, ours Cafe and Catering, uh, on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm gonna do more lives. Yay, cool. you'll be seeing me. There you go. Um, so all over Facebook, all over Instagram. We have a website, ourscafeandcatering.com. Um, just anywhere. Leave us a review too. I mean, I think that's one thing that's super important. If you've dined here before, leave us a review. Um, and like he said, subscribe. Look, Follow the follow the episodes. Give us Love a like, it. give us a share, all that stuff. Love it. And make sure you come here. You can also find a full listing for them on AmericasBestRestaurants.com. And look, that's basically it for us. I'm going to crush this pork chop and all of this. I might leave a little bit for Austin. We're going to see you guys on the next one.